Okay, we're here again at Table Soccer USA Studios in uh, Columbia, Maryland, and uh, again, Paul Eyes is going to explain to us uh, a couple complex rules uh, of backs and moving backs. So okay. go ahead, Paul. Now, we started talking at the very beginning of our uh, sequences here on how offense and defense, how the flow of the game goes. As I flick against the figure, if I were to flick, and we won't have Zach flick just yet, but he will in a moment. If I flick the ball right here, of course we said Zach has the right to a defensive flick. However, if he flicks against the ball right there, I now have an option. He's not allowed to do that. He doesn't have possession. My option is as follows. I always have these two options. I can keep him right there because it may be to my advantage. Maybe he opens up some space that I can um, use later on in the game tactically. Or I can just call what we call a back. And this is where I say back to my opponent because he's hit the ball. He's not allowed to do that. And we place the figure back in the position they were in. So I always have those options. By the way, let's be clear though. If there's a very clear difference, the ball was stationary when Zach struck the ball, that is a back. If the ball had been rolling and Zach hit the ball with his defensive block, I have the right to the following choice. That would be a foul by Zach, in which case I can take that. We talked about fouls another time. Or, again, I always have the right to play on because it could have put me in a better position. So that, that is what we call a back, okay? Now, as we move on, this is a little bit more difficult play, a moving back. This would be where, obviously, I'm on offense, and Zach is trying to um, maybe get a flick into here as I'm flicking. And if I strike, Zach, we'll try to do this on, uh, we'll try to do it on, uh, uh, on the count of two. One, two. Pretty good. This would be a situation here where he's not allowed to bang into me like that, taking his flick. He's got the right to the flick, but I can say this is a moving back situation where I, my figure stays where it is and his figure goes back to the original position. And in addition, I am not charged with a flick here. I've still got, let's say it was my first of three, I still have number one available of my three with that figure. So this is a moving back. The, the pulse figure would actually move to where the contact was made right. um, if you were to choose that. Again, like Paul said earlier, if he wanted, he'd have the opportunity to, to play on and take an advantage if he sees one fit. Um, otherwise, with the moving back, like he said, the defender would go back to the original position and the offender would go to where he and the defender um, collided and, uh, and, and, he would, and he would not be penalized for a use of one flick. Okay, I think that completes our section on backs and moving backs. Come to Table Soccer USA for all your professional table soccer needs. Thank you.